an observation of mine that I'm concerned about um, is with all the the back and forth. I mean, you can't really get on social media or any kind of uh, platform at all and discuss God or salvation and and not have a hundred things be thrown at you from all different directions. Um, I, I don't think we live in a, in a time where we can take for granted that most people agree on sound doctrine anymore. So a lot of milk Christians, or they're really more likely people that may eventually become real Christians, but they're not yet. You know, they, they've they heard the love only message and it makes them have a good feeling, you know, or they're, they like church because it makes them feel churchy. Um, you know, but they've never really had that experience where um, Jesus went from, you know, a story in a book uh, to something they feel in their heart. Uh, I, I worry that if they don't have a good foundation for what they believe and why, then they're going to be drug away. Uh, and, and, then and then they call themselves, you know, I was a Christian and now I'm not. Um, that's not really how that works. Um, an example of, of, of being told, you know, or, or being pulled away from what you should believe is once saved, always saved. You know, they, they would be the ones arguing against it because they would say, I was a Christian and, you know, and, and then and then I changed my mind because someone showed me better. Well, no, you never were a Christian. You had a, you, you know, you, 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 you went to church and you did things, but, uh, and, and then the first time someone told you that once saved, always saved is just an excuse for people to sin, uh, you, you made it about you and walked away. Um, that's, that's kind of the stuff where we as Christians really need to dig in. We really need to know why we believe what we believe, not just be told something and accept it. Because in the first time a challenge comes along, you know, a, a lot of people will, will accept it because it sounds, uh, better to them. You know, uh, I feel really lucky that I did a lot of my study and, before the internet, uh, and I listened to uh, Dr. David, David Jeremiah for many years every day on my way to work, and he helped build a really good foundation for the doctrines that I believe and why I believe them. Uh, but we need to have an answer for uh, people on, on, you know, social media platforms and things when we talk about love and, and when we talk about the gospel and uh, salvation and, and they come at us, you know, I think a lot of Christians shy away because they don't want conflict and uh, I think Satan loves that. I think he, he, he thrives in that because then uh, his message gets uh, louder and louder as ours retreats. Um, so I see the men of the Bible they weren't afraid to speak up and be bold in the face of lies and, and uh, people and blasphemy, you know. Uh, so I don't think there's anything wrong with us as Christians correcting people. And of course, the first thing they're going to say is, you know, you're offending me or you're, you're a bad Christian. You know, I've seen a lot of that too. I've heard just all the time how Christians were mean to someone. But then uh, if I've ever you know, read a thread where, you know, there's a back and forth where someone is blaspheming God and a Christian steps up and says, no, that's not truth. This is, this is truth. You know, it, it always devolves into, uh, you know, where, where they, they throw up that they've been offended. And then a lot of times you'll have milk Christians, love only Christians who have only been to church where that's all they preach. They'll jump in with the, uh, blasphemers against the, uh, the ones fighting the good fight, you know, that's not, everything is so divided. We, we need to be in a united front right now. And that, that's just tearing us apart. And, and then they'll turn around and say that it's the Christian that's, you know, preaching sound doctrine and correcting people that's doing the division. So if, if you don't have an answer 
or if you don't uh if you don't like the conflict then just stay silent stay out of it let someone who does have an answer um defend the truth uh because even though they may be arguing with someone who's reprobate think about all the lost people that might be reading that and that's why their message is growing and ours is not so these are reasons why i think the love only church has really hurt us worse than we know i think we really need to be digging in uh we need to be preaching that the lord is coming um I, I don't see revival until, you know, maybe after the rapture. Uh, but man, there's so much bad doctrine out, out there right now. I would, I, I just feel so bad for new Christians. Try to find someone that, you know, that, uh, that has sound doctrine. Dr. David Jeremiah is, is a great start for, you know, the gospel and, and trying to help you learn what we believe and why we believe it. And really and truly, you don't have a lot of time. And you also need to try to get into some eschatology probably early because that's the season we're in right now and you need to know what's coming and you need to be able to tell your brothers and sisters and your family uh, where we're at and, and to get ready fast.